Voters who show up at the polls this November may not just be choosing among Republicans, Democrats and third-party tickets, but also casting a vote on the future of Social Security. Social Security is expected to pay $1.5 trillion in benefits to an average of almost 68 million Americans per month in 2024. More than half of peak baby boomers, the largest cohort expected to turn 65 by 2030, are expected to rely primarily on Social Security for income in retirement. Meanwhile, Social Security's trust funds are projected to run out in the next decade, which will prompt an across-the-board benefit cut of at least 20% if no changes happen sooner. As Congress weighs that dilemma, they will also decide Social Security's future role in Americans' lives. More from personal finance. Most retirees don't delay Social Security benefits women reaching peak 65 feet more likely to struggle in retirement Americans think they need almost 1.5 million dollars to retire Democratic lawmakers like Representative John Larson, Decon, who is running for re-election this year, say today's benefits are not enough. Nobody's getting wealthy on Social Security, Larson said in a recent interview with CNBC noting that more than 5 million Americans receive monthly benefit checks that are below the federal poverty level. It is the very sustenance that 40% of all Americans need just to get by, and it hasn't been adjusted in more than 50 years, Larson said. In 1983, when the last major Social Security reforms were enacted, there were no benefit enhancements, Larson argued. Among the changes put in place at that time was a gradual increase in the retirement age, taxes on benefit income and reduced benefits for public employees with pensions. For years, Larson has championed a bill, Social Security 2100, that aims to increase benefits for all beneficiaries by lifting the payroll tax cap for taxpayers earning over $400,000. Today, Annual earnings of up to $168,600 are subject to a 6.2% payroll tax toward Social Security paid by both workers and employers. Larson's plan also calls for closing loopholes that allow wealthy taxpayers to avoid paying Social Security taxes on other income. Larson said the public is well aware that Social Security benefits are theirs and they've paid for them. Yet the same question comes up again and again. Why hasn't Congress voted? The latest version of Larson's bill has 184 Democratic co-sponsors yet has never been brought to the House floor for a vote. Another bill, the Social Security Fairness Act, has even broader support, with 318 co-sponsors from both sides of the aisle, yet that also has yet to be put up for a vote. That proposal tackles just two changes also included in Larson's bill, repealing the windfall elimination provision and government pension offset rules that limit Social Security benefit income for individuals who receive other benefits like pensions from a state or local government.